something which we make uh, the uh, base for your coffee mousse is your basic custard. So uh, there are different different flavors which are available in the market. Okay, so there is something called mango mousse is available. Then then apricot is there, strawberry is there. So today what we are going to do is we are going to make a very basic flavor that is your coffee mousse. Now this base uh, the custard uh, what we are going to make it is uh, this mousse is basically a little on a denser side. Okay, so in comparison to the souffle. Uh, we also add whipped cream to it. Now there are different types of mousses. Some are savory mousses also available, and uh, sweet is what we are going to do this time. Uh, in this mousses also, now there are different types in which uh, there are uh, you know uh, molded ones. So in the ones which are molded, has more amount of gelatin inside it because of which you are able to mold those uh, mousses. Okay. So today also we are going to uh, we are going to put uh, gelatin inside it. But uh, and we are going to demold it also, okay. And there are other mousses which you normally set in those particular glasses or particular crockery. In that they set it and they serve it just like that. So let's look at the ingredients. Ingredients used for coffee mousse are milk, grain sugar, egg yolk, gelatin, coffee liquid, whipped cream. Vanilla essence and ice for setting. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to start with the double boiler. We're going to make this double boiler for the gelatin. So I'm going to put water. This is how I'm going to make it. So I've taken a tin in this. I have put a what? I have put water inside it. In this bubble mold, I'm going to put gelatin, which is about uh, 15 grams, so one tablespoon. Now in this only I am going to put water, normal water around 3 tablespoons. So it can be 3 or 4 tablespoons of water can go inside in the gelatin. We soak the gelatin in this and put this on the double boiler. Mix it. Always make sure mix it nicely. Otherwise the lumps will form over here. It's very important to mix it properly. And then put it over here. This tin has to go on a gas range. So over here I am going to light the gas. And let the boil uh, water boil a little bit. Because of which the gelatin will uh, you know get mixed properly and it will become liquidy. You can add a little more amount of water also if you think that this has become quite hard. The gelatin has become quite hard. Always make sure to mix it whenever uh, you know uh, you are making a double boiler for the gelatin now we're going to start with egg yolks uh, we're going to make the custard first the basic custard over here uh, we don't use egg whites so we are going to separate them and put the egg yolks over here The, uh, we have not started the machine over here as in the electric uh, induction is not started yet it just have kept it over there uh, then we add sugar and mix it nicely it's very important to mix it properly okay and now I'm going to put milk the milk which I'm putting over here has to be a little warm so I'm not going to put all the milk together I'm going to put a little little amount of milk otherwise if I put all the milk uh, and if the milk is too hot there are chances that your mix, uh, your egg will get curdled over here which we don't want to take uh, we don't want to take that chance over here that's the reason we are going to put little, little milk now I'm going to start the uh, induction over here and I'm going to mix it make sure to mix it from all the sides very very important uh, because uh, egg yolk is there over here there are chances the if the temperature increases too much uh, it is going to curdle so it's very important to keep it keep mixing it continuously and all the sides one of the common thing what we normally do is we do a figure of eight okay so that when you do a figure of eight we mix everything from all the sides so if we see you check over here see can you see i checked whether it is coating it has to be coating sco uh, spoon basically so you mix it nicely now this has become thin uh, thick you can see the density has changed a little bit over here 
okay a fumes also are seen uh, too much fumes is also we are not expecting because the chances of the egg getting curdled is more over here keep mixing it okay and check whether it is coating spoon can you see here it's not coating spoon yet it has to become a little more thick thick over here and we continue mixing it properly mix it from all the sides coating spoon is important that is the most important indication one more indication is that initially when you start mixing it uh, it will become uh, the froth will also go away okay so uh, we don't use a whisk over here because for uh, whisk creates a lot of froth we don't want that to happen okay and we don't want it to become more thick also because it will start curdling now this is where see the coating spoon can you see here it is done if i further cook this it will start curdling and we don't want this to curdle now i am going to put the coffee liquid here now coffee liquid is just uh, we have to take coffee powder and we put a uh, little warm water inside it mix it and then you make a coffee liquid out of it mix it over here there is no uh, compulsion of how much coffee has to go inside it it depends on your taste because uh, uh, some of them uh, like a little uh, you know uh, more taste of coffee inside it so you can keep on adding it you can add if you want to add more uh, you can taste this also to so get a better idea and vanilla essence is again optional if you want to you can add if you don't want to it's okay uh, the only reason we add vanilla essence is because we are putting egg yolk inside it and because uh, egg yolk has a little flavor that's the reason we add vanilla essence inside it and then the soaked gelatin i removed it from the double boiler and make sure to scrape out everything which is whatever is there inside and you put it inside in the coffee piece. mix this nicely and put it on the ice for setting this is what happens too so we want it semi set basically and i'm going to remove all the lumps of it so i'm going to whisk it nicely and remove all the lumps out of it very very important part over here otherwise your mousse will have lumps if i don't remove the lumps so when it has gelatin that time you can apply this much pressure so it's okay now i'm going to put whipped cream i made sure uh, that i'm not putting a uh, as in i have removed all the lumps uh, i'll put whipped cream inside it and i'm going to very lightly mix this now over here here i'm not going to apply too much of pressure uh, because if i apply a lot of pressure over here uh, whipped cream is basically going to give you nice lightness to your mousse if i apply too much of pressure it will become flat we don't want that to happen okay so very lightly i'm going to mix it together do not forget the base over here uh i'm removing my uh whisk and i'm making sure from the base everything is mixed properly and nicely you can add a little more coffee at this stage also if you think that your this thing so here if you see i have added a little more coffee because uh, according to me this was uh, no uh, more coffee flavor was required uh these are the modes in which i'm going to set it i'm going to grease them with the oil first otherwise your mousse will not demold so make sure to uh, grease it with oil properly very very important again if you don't grease it then obviously it will not demold uh you can take the bigger jelly molds also if you wish to this one whole recipe goes in the bigger jelly mold also so this were our small baba molds in which we are setting right now oil them nicely properly and then i'm going to pour the mixture in this divide the mixture do all this quite lightly don't don't apply pressure on this because uh, the mousse is something which you know is very light you know 
यू कैन इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन पुट डेम इन द रैमिकन मोल्स ऑल्सो इफ यू विश टू यू कैन सेट डेम इन दैट ओनली एंड देन यू कैन हैव इट डायरेक्टली यू डोंट नीड टू डी मोल्ड इन दैट केस द मोर मिक्सचर सो अराउंड टू मोर मोल बाबा मोल्स विल कम इन दिस आई एम गुड टू सेट दिस इन द फ्रिज this is how it looks like after it sets now loosen the sides very very important see you can see it is separating a little bit on the sides nicely and then try to demold them okay this is how it looks after it's demold loosening the sides is very important if you don't loosen it properly it is not going to demold okay like this and just put it upside down over here now i'm going to a very common garnish what we do is we just garnish it with the whipped cream a swirl of whipped cream on top of it and whipped cream oh uh, sorry uh, the coffee liquid so it looks very beautiful when you just put uh, pour a small spoon of you know coffee liquid on top of it like this this is the final presentation